Good day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Model Gaming, and welcome back to Far Cry 6. Last time, we made it to El Este. We made it up to El Tigre's camp. We met the legends. We met a street gang. We went and got a... Where is he? I went and got a homicidal chicken, because apparently that is the pinnacle of the amigos right there. And today... Today, we have some work to do. I only managed to do one main mission last part, mainly because Chikaron's quest literally took the rest of the video. So we have got to go talk to El Tigre about uh, going and snapping some pics of a facility. And we have to go meet La Moral. Apparently there's a street gang that's causing problems, or at least they don't seem to think so. And they're pissing off the legends. And now I have to go meet their leader for some strange reason. So, we will get to her. I feel like we should go help the legends first. Just because, you know, they're who I got sent to see. We'll deal with her later, because I am kind of curious how this quest line is going to go. Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too. Even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Moral was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a Biovira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud. Sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the Bio Vida to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre. And we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. Damn straight we are. Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter? Please don't say that term again, El Tigre. I'm slowly, slowly losing some respect for you. Right, so we have to go investigate, uh, oh. I was kind of, you know, I was kind of wondering what was there. It, it's a big ass area and I was kind of wondering what it was. So that's in that direction. 1400 meters in that direction. Well, fine. I would go and speak to her, but we'll wait until we get back. I'd rather deal with one faction at a time, at least for now. You done with them? No. In fact, I'm going to photograph a facility that you mentioned. Congrats. Oh, there it is down there. Okay. Tell you what. I don't normally do this this often, because there's really no point. Yes. Is this what this car is? I found this, like, last part or something, but I didn't put it in because I didn't know exactly what the hell it was. Apparently it's a plane. Uh, this is either going to work or it's going to kill me. Either way, we're going to find out. Okay. Unless there is a specific button that I have to hit or something on that, like, why is that vehicle that doesn't fly in with vehicles that can fly? A am I not just pushing, like, you done with them? Am, am I just not pushing a button properly or is that not supposed to happen? Fly the friendly skies with this heavily modified dune buggy, which takes some skill to drive on land, but so it does not soar effortlessly. Can't even speak today. That's how just, just... Is there a button that I have to push? Okay, I can enter as a passenger. Show controls. Uh, I'm sorry. Activate or deactivate... F Wait, what? Do I... Press that, like, when I'm up in the air or something? Okay, this is possibly going to get me killed again, but I need to work this out. Oh, what the f... 
Okay, so I did have to push a button. Neat. This is possibly the coolest air vehicle. Attention on identified pilot. This airspace is restricted. Land now. God damn it. I'm landing. I'm landing. I'm landing. God freaking damn it. Okay. Take free, but at least I know how this stupid thing works now. Okay, we're up in the air again, but by the sounds of it, there is an AA, like, somewhere near here. So I might want to start dropping altitude, like, now. Let's just slow it down. Not get too close to the facility, because... Pilot, what's your operating number? Okay. Uh, let, let's just, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. I can still fly it, though. I just have to fly it. Okay, sometime later, after three failed attempts, I just decided to get a stinking plane, fly up as far as what I could before they got shot down out of the sky and wingsuit out. Okay, I kind of like that thing. But it is extremely fragile. But what, what, whatever. Whatever. We're nearing the facility, finally. It's been already 10 minutes since I started, so that just accounts to how many times I've died. But let's land. Let's take our photographs. Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits. Until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. Okay, I don't need a tutorial for how to take photographs. In this game or like any game. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. Yeah, I would be inclined to believe it. Okay, I feel like Chikaron is probably not the person I should be bringing into this place. All we have to do is take our photos and get out. We don't have to take anyone out. But whether or not I'm going to be able to remain undetected is going to be another thing. Okay, Chikaron. Chikaron. Buddy, I need you to just stand there. Do not come inside because your bloodlust cannot be sated. Hey, Frederico, you dropped your access card. I found it in the dirt. Come find me if you want it back. Server room B slash O2. B slash O2. Where the hell is B slash O2 in this place? Okay, I took out two people, but I have a feeling the gig's already up. Yeah, the gig's already up. They already know I'm here, and now it's just time to uh, start firing. Alright, we're pretty much everyone dead already, except for one dude down there who we don't care about. What have we got in here? Sounds came from in there. I've got a bad feeling about this place. Yeah, this has got that dark, dingy, you know, breaking the ethical medical ranks type place. Oh, and I just found a KSG. Hip hip hooray. Where exactly am I heading to? There is a quest marker, but... Well, I need to be taking the... Chicka Ronnie, you're right out there. You're having problems. Eh, I'm sure he's fine. Oh, it's so dark in there. Wait, is that dark in there or is that just the door? I think that was just the door. Right, how do I get in here exactly? By the roof? All this bullshit about treating cancer. What are they doing to these people? 
from you. They're using humans like rats. What are they testing? Castillo's not going to get away with this. I need more pigs. So wait, the Vivero treatment doesn't even cure cancer? What the hell is a cure then? Or what the hell does it do? Is what I should be saying. What else have we got in here, huh? The Giordito satellite station makes running ops ten times harder. Okay, that's a military target. That's actually just up from me. Okay, what else can we take pictures of? I need to take photos, check out the other... Yes, I'm in the other zones. What are they doing in here? Get rid of you. These people are sick. Really sick. Is this what they are doing to all the outcasts? Oh, that's messed up. What the fuck are they doing to Funga? What the fuck are they doing to these poor people? I need more pigs. Okay, Vivero doesn't sound quite like the vision that Anton's putting together now, does it? It sounds like they're just torturing people for no reason being human test subjects for some end? I see a medic. Uh, you didn't see shit, people. Okay, I might need to, uh... Uh, I might need to get rid of these two first. There we go, that gets rid of them too. There is definitely... There was someone left alive, but I dealt with it. There's something under the water. What the fuck is in the lake? What the hell is this? Finger. So many. Oh, carajo. So many dead bodies in the water. I need to take a picture for Lorenzo. This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. Yeah, I mean, if the man's not convinced after that, like... El Tigre, I've got the pits. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay, get those photos back to them. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. Yeah, stop living in this fantasy land that he wants to live in. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo. I took pictures of that place when Ron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Liberta and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the end. You shoot the tree. Right, I feel like Lorenzo's gonna need time to process all that. Now that's that's some messed up stuff right there. All right. Danny's here. It is pretty much a far cry from what Castillo was doing, but then again, half of what Castillo said has been a lie so far. All right, hold on. It's time to do your missions about La, uh, El Moral, or whatever the hell your street gang is called.
To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. We're freeing El Este with or without them. You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation of PLOS. Swing by El Agujero is La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Say this password to our doorman. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. Okay, then. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way. 3,000 meters? What is this? Oh, there's that anti-aircraft site. Uh, do I freaking dare to use that vehicle again? You know what? I feel like I need some retribution. We are taking this. We're going to fly down to the road, land on the road, go and take out that bloody anti-aircraft thing. And then we're going to fly over to La Moral. I mean, I've already landed once, blown up. I landed, tried to land a second time, blew up. And I landed a third time, then took off, then hit a tree. So I feel like I should be good at this point. I say this, I'm probably going to... You are flying in restricted airspace. Land your craft immediately. I say this, I'm probably going to get blown up by the AA site next. This thing. Th this, this thing. It doesn't, it really doesn't like dropping down onto the road, does it? You have to physically call it. Uh, not physically call it. You have to physically land it on the road first before it, 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 uh, it it's, it's, I, it's either that or I should just stop flying this thing because it, it's going to, it's, it's getting me killed like a lot. And it's also at an angle now. I feel like I'm going to blow up the second I hit the road again. But let's pretend that's not going to happen because this is take five. Uh, no one. No one. Just let me land people. That's all I request. Oh my god, I landed. Okay, we're good. We're finally good. Right, now go take out this stinking AA site just for being a nuisance. Whatever you do, don't take off again. I'm going to get blown up and I swear it this time it'll be via that AA site. Let's just go deal with this thing first. Then I can practice taking off again. Oh, what do you know? There's also an ambush here. Well, uh, let's just throw a stick of boom boom over there. And let's help out these gorillas over here. Look at that, I have free supplies. Uh oh. I mean, if the game wants me to have them. Stop. Shooting at me, Chikaron, go do your damn job. There you go. The one and a couple of only times that you'll probably see me do those ambushes. Because I really just don't consider them that useful. Or at least that interesting. But they're worth a load of stuff. And so is that juicy, juicy uranium. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to assume Chikaron is bloody down, but stuff it. He can he can get himself back up. Now let's let's try and take off in this thing, shall we? Before I blow myself up for whatever how many times I've blown myself up. I just need a good stretch of road to take off from. That way I don't blow up, because I swear if I blow up in this thing a sixth time, I'm most likely not going into a seventh. Right, let's turn around. Get up a good speed. I'm also taking off uphill, which is not how you take off in a plane, but whatever. 
I mean, you take off by going vertical. You don't go up a vertical runway and expect to take off. I will admit, this is a cool car. I just need to remember that, uh... I just need to remember I can't, you know, drop from a small distance onto the road because I will blow up. I need to actually land this thing first, then deactivate flight mode. Honey. What's up on the run? There's some things you need to know about Yelena. She's mad smart, computer science major, programmer. People think she's just a power nerd, but when the shit goes down, she's a fighter. How did a programmer become a guerrilla leader? Guess you didn't see the video. Before there was a La Moral, Admiral Benitez executed our classmates. Binga. They got that on video? No. The next day, soldados stepped to us at the funeral. Yelena led us in the fight. We took out like a hundred soldados. That shit was on video. One hundred soldados? Okay, maybe like fifty. Fifteen. Coño, I gotta go. Just put a soldado near your stash with his pants down. Literally, he's pissing and he doesn't see me. <laughs> I'll call you back. Danny, where you at? Getting close, I think. So you know, Helena's the big boss. I'm team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spy in all of Yara. You can't even fart in a without Gilberto's network hearing about it. Spies and hackers? La Moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around. And if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. What is that? Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. Well, it has a strict curfew. I just so happen to land at night, which is kind of irritating. There is just AA sites dotted all around this damn region. So, as much as I want to take this thing and use it, it's most likely going to kill me if I use it again, so... How the hell am I going to get inside this place without being detected? On run. I'm at Concepcion. How do I find La Moral? I'll send you a peek. Show no one. What are you sending me? It will help you find the door. Don't forget the password and remember. Curfew. Curfew. Nope, that's the wrong button. Uh, okay. So, it's near a town square. And... Near some mural on the wall. Okie dokie. Well, by the looks of it, the guards are only patrolling the exterior, so... Now that I'm inside, I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be attacked much. Uh, where is the mural? I'll try and find the mural first, because I feel like that will be... Okay, there's just a helicopter out in the skies, that's great. Oh, hang on. There we go. I found the mural. That's a start at least. Uh, a new fish, okay. Got a new fish. Is this where I'm supposed to be going, or is it up the ladder? Uh, six meters, yeah. Oh, there's a door here. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything, and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. 
Nice to meet you too. My name's Danny. Alfredo. Simmer down, Mr. Choppy. Down the stairs. Okay, I will admit these guys have a cool last base. I'm still reserving my judgments for them at least. At least for now. I need six volunteers. I'll talk to my people, honey. B. Jorge and Anna's gangs are probably on the ship. You're Yelena? Yeah, that. Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No, you handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use La Moral's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future, but it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people and I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, they didn't point guns at me at least. That's a step in the right direction. For real? Libertad? No shit. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me. Uh... Senor Choppy? You do know there's an AA gun just stationed... You know, a couple of hundred meters off to the right, yeah? Take all the rasol. Be nice huh. to him. Don't worry, I'm a friend. You're with Libertad? I am. I think it would be great if we joined forces. Yeah? We've been fighting and we've been winning. But Admiral Benitez will always have more than we do. We kill one soldado today, tomorrow they get replaced with three more. And when La Moral people die, there's no one replacing them? Not yet. On top of that, the farmers and the people just trying to survive don't want to fight. We need fresh blood. Real fighters. What about getting the legends to join? We tried. None of those abuelos want to fight. <laughs> I heard a lot of them even support Castillo. You heard wrong. Well, I don't see any abuelos fighting now. I'm working on it. So, how do these farmers get a helicopter? They built it from the parts of ones we shot down. Kinga. These farmers are 100% on our side. The other farmers are not? Some are. Some are with Castillo. You think we can get them on our side? We're gonna need them. Only when we're going to liberate El Este. Maybe when they hear Libertad is fighting with us, they'll join. You're good propaganda, Danny. Oh, this poor horse, he wanted to lie down. Okay, enough wholesomeness. I d didn't actually see that animation before, which is nice. Are you going to save those people? Yelena called. Do you want to lift to that boat? Let's do this. Get in. You people really don't care about the AA site that's literally just... I mean, if we're this far down, I mean, sure, it makes sense. Still, though... These farmers have guts. And there is also a, uh, there's also a ting inside here. Where is it? Here it is. Nope, that's not it. Okay, more spray cans. I'll take some spray cans. Don't leave, I'm coming! Danny! I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I 
Captain Tom for calling the Captain a come mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out drill sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? Ha! <laughs> Wait. I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Libertad. What can you tell me about La Moral? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That the real name? Yeah. Some Spaniard named it back in 1490, whatever. A couple months ago, Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. So what does La Moral do? They tracked and killed every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and sneaking their throats while their families asleep. Assassin shit. These kids are smart, coordinated, and cold-blooded. Sounds like it. Show pass. We keep tabs on military convoys passing through them and report them to La Moral. Seems like they run a tight operation. These kids are on the ball. Yelena is more organized than the military. La Moral's got our back. When Admiral Panita started getting rough with our families, La Moral got rough back. Killed any soldado who dared to step foot on our lands. Pretty soon, they stopped coming. Well, there's the ship I've got to go down to, at least. That's the ship! I can't get you any closer. This is great! Gracias, mi amigo! Good luck saving those people! Gracias, buddy. Alright, let's try and land as far up as I can. Okay, that wasn't the most graceful of landings, but we're here. Ooh, 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 no. Please don't tell me that just got me detected. Anyone? Okay, okay, yep, the stealth just went out the window as soon as I shot the first person, that's great. That's all good. Alright, let's try this. Damn! Wow, this is like the rage mode out of out of Far Cry 5, but, like, literally on steroids. Oh, little soldiers. You can shoot me all you like. My machete's gonna find you sooner or later. Okay, it wore off, it wore off, it wore off, it wore off. Run! Okay, 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 okay. I... I really should have dealt with the alarms first, huh? In hindsight, that might have been a good idea. Uh, who's left, huh? Who's throwing grenades at me? Gets rid of you. Who's left, huh? Who's left? Anybody left? One person? Who? Who is it? That gets rid of you and dead. Who else? Oh shit. Right, well, there's everyone dealt with. That went about as smoothly as a pile of turds. 
but stuff it, we've done it. We're all good. We're moving. What's going on? I think someone's walking on the container. Yes, there is someone walking on the container. How'd you guess? I saw them taking Arias to the bridge. Where they steer the ship. Check there. Okie dokie, we're not done yet. How do I... Oh, we, we follow them. They've only just come out of a container, but they seem to know the way better than what I do. Ah, there's one up on the bridge. The one lonely survivor up on the bridge. How the hell do I get up to a bridge? By the stairs, me. That's what they're there for. I mean... Wait. I'm at the bridge. Where's the person that was just imprisoned up here? I'm legitimately stumped about what I'm supposed to be doing. The, the hostages are free. Oh, hi! Gracias, my friend. Yelena. Thank you, Gideon. I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. Hola. This is Admiral Benitez. To the fake Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want to. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. Right now. Okay, I... I have really pissed her off, huh? Okay, let's... Yeah, that's right, you damn airplane. Stop dropping bombs on me like a freaking some war zone. Okay, this ship is just... It's screwed. This Admiral Benitez, she... She really does not like me, huh? I haven't even been in this region, like, one and a half parts. Oh, holy hell, that was close. Okay, luckily I do have this minigun, but it is still really hard to hit these things. Are we all good? Are they done? Where are those boats, Yelena? They're waiting for you. They need Can somebody tell those trains to hold still? <gasps> okay, we got more. Okay, that plane is just severely just. Let's not worry about him. He's about as good as dead. for the love of this admiral really does not like planes I mean no not planes she hates boats and she likes bombing boats damn this place is I feel like we should hurry up and get off this boat Because it is about to blow up. Get in the turret.
You want some Castillo's forces? Bring it. We're only two dinghies, but we will mess your shit up. Who else is here, huh? Who's behind me? Oi! We all good? Damn, that was an escape. That was fucking intense. Yelena, it's done. Your people are safe. I heard. We even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? Come back to El Agujero. Shit is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale. Okay, so we've started like bullet that. points. I also have to go back and speak to Lorenzo. Okay, that is just a yarn story, so we'll leave that alone for now. Let's head back to uh, La Morale and uh, Shit's gone down here. get the next steps because damn that was a mission. Was there a point to doing that? Or was that just for fun? Clara, I've met La Moral. Why didn't you send me to them first? La Moral? Last I heard they were a small group always on the edge of falling apart. They're doing more fighting than the legends. Okay, but watch your step. La Moral has a bad rep and I don't want Libertad's name to be dragged down with him. I'll keep my eyes open. Okay, so... Clara doesn't seem... Well, she seems she wants me to be careful dealing with them, and from what the legend said, I can see why. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and... Skip in school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez! Bermudez, Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes, protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> Eso! Woo! So how do we take out the Admiral? Push ups! Are the first step to victory! The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a combo I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. Uh, okay. Here I thought that that was going to be a mission. In fact, it wasn't a mission we... Did a cutscene and now there's three missions. Cut your hand open. 
You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea. A and a Yaren story. Okay, what the hell did I just unlock? See, si, the part where you put the gun to your head and pull the trigger? That was crazy. I loved it. <laughs> Vanny needs to take care of our little problem at the hotel. Well, why didn't you say so? All we need is Carlito, and the hotel is as good as ours. What we need is to stop Benitez's convoy. Sounds like we're on different pages of the same we'll book. Get him next time. Doesn't matter which one you read first. They all lead to the same end. Benitez. Benitez. We hit all three, and we spread her forces thin. Make her base more vulnerable. And then, we strike. You remind me of Lucky. Always three moves ahead. Though, she's not big on these machines. You mean laptops? Yeah. Fucking Hugo. Always getting caught. I feel like these three are just literally gonna get along famously together at this point. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just begin with El Tigre since, like, uh, I'm kind of curious about him. He seems like a nice guy. I like this young daddy ass. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would kiss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Damn straight we will. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito. And Carlito only needs one. Oh, so two birds with two birds with one stone it must have been a really big bullet. So museum, it is all the way along here. Okay, that should be relatively easy to get to at least. We got El Tigre on our side. I'm sure if El Tigre is here, the rest will, you know, the rest will come in time. We do have a Yaren story story involving uh uh what the other guy's name is, I already forgot. Um, but we'll leave that for now. We've also got a Yaren story in uh, La Morale as well, and a treasure hunt, so we have got a bit of side stuff to do. Okay, we have another checkpoint. As per, as per tradition at this point, all checkpoints that I pass must just immediately be handled. Because if I try and drive across that, I'm either going to get shot or I'm going to get my tyres blown out and then I'll be shot. So... What have we got? We've got you... And I can't see any more. Okay, no one saw that, thankfully. Better watch my step. Get rid of you, you're the heavy. Cross over quickly. Take a take cover. Oh, they found the body. That's alright. I can just do that. And they can't do nothing else. Okay, there is a couple of them out there. I'm gonna be honest. But like a pack of dummies, they split up. There we go. Uh, where is the billboard on this occasion? Oh, it's up there. 
Well, let's just open this to get my free cash. Would you be surprised to see it's more gunpowder? Nice parking, buddy. There we go, there's that checkpoint captured, so at least I have a fast travel point down this way now. This area down here is actually quite pretty. But never mind that, we're coming up on the Museum of the False Revolution. Wow, I'm actually kind of curious how... I'm actually kind of curious how Anton is spinning uh, the... I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. You know what? That doesn't seem like a bad idea. I'm actually kind of curious how Castillo's spinning the, uh, the revolution that took down his father, grandfather, one, one of the two. Oh, Carlito. Out of all of us, you were the crazy one. What took you so long? El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends. But Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum, and three walked out. This famous terrorist, famous for killing with his bare hands, has left a legacy of brutality and violence across Yara. El Tigre has murdered hundreds of his fellow Yarans, including men, women, and children. People believe this shit? There's a lot of neat stuff in here. It is not officially known where the traders of 67 acquired their heavy munitions. However, it takes little imagination to combine their desperation with their hatred of Yara to, to conclude that they were financed by foreign enemies and spies. Oh yes. Yes, this is the exact type of propaganda crap that I thought would be in this stupid place. Okay, can't get in there without a key. Uh, what's upstairs? Hola. Hola. I know this island like the back of my fist. See anything you like? War is over when we are all free. Of course war is brutal. Civil war extremely so. We were killing our countrymen. Misguided Es difícil seguirla. Ella siempre está deambulando. Are we supposed to be going somewhere, El Tigre? Or are we just here for sentimental values? Okay, he's just basically said, let's go get him before we punch someone out. El Tigre! Is Carlito a fucking tank? Por supuesto. So he's a tank. Carlito is a is a tank. 
Somehow I get the feeling like El when El Tigre says person, he could mean a whole lot of things. But he's a tank. Ooh, hi. Go back to sleep, buddy. You're a lot better off. Let's get the hell out of here. Nothing! No tank, no car, no helicopter can stop us. Was not the way I was supposed to go. Where is this damn heli? Yeah, that's right. Nothing can stop Carlito. He is the biggest, baddest tank on this side of Yarra. Okay, Carlito is really not good at going near objects, is he? Screw the palm trees. Just plow through the palm trees. And through anybody else. Stop getting stuck. Oh, that's an RPG unit. That's not good. Buddy, don't get any ideas. There we go. No rocket launcher, tree, or tank will stand in my way. Oh, you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. Ha 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 ha! Mi compai! 
How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. See! <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. So, uh, we just own a tank now. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito, maybe. Uh, enough of that nonsense, El Tigre. Hmm. What's going on between... El Tigre and Lobo. This tank has one short ass barrel. I just realized that. Has one short ass barrel, but it has a flamethrower equipped. Instead of the. Instead of the. Instead of the turret, which should be there. More bloody interception missions. And another checkpoint. Okay, where is that one? That one is literally just down the way. Right, if I pass that, then I will go and take that out. I didn't say I'd do all of them. I just say I'd do the ones that I ran across. But we own Carlito now. The legends are on board. La Morale is on board. I'd say that's a good, a good way to stop for now so this is where i'll leave this off for today we've done a lot we've done like four missions worth so that is a lot better we're starting to move into this uh, region a lot faster now than what we were last part next time we'll go back to la morale we've still got uh wait where are they we've still got honron and uh freaking yelena to go see for two more separate missions. By the sound of it, we're moving towards Benitez first. So next time, we'll head towards them. But as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.